Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card. This time we've got a skeleton theme. And this is all about what skeletons are in the closet. So basically, is there something hidden? Is there a secret? Something that you might like to know? And um, this is going to, this time we're going to have charms to go with it. So we have three piles here pile one, pile two, pile three. Just choose by the images. These are beautiful images um, made by Chris. Peters. So um, when I was looking for markers and cards, I didn't have any tarot cards or oracle cards really that had a lot of skeleton theme in it. The only thing I do have which is a skeleton theme to my home right now. So I just want to show you real quick my fun window. So here's the little skeleton that's peeking at me while I do my private readings at my private reading altar here. And the whole outside is kind of skeleton theme. I got into skeleton theme because of, well, for one, there is a, I had a pipe burst in the yard. There was digging up the yard. My daughter said, we need a Halloween decorations. And then I thought, ah, oh, I know we can do a cemetery. And then cemetery turned into skeletons. And then there we go. So I don't have any Oracle cards with skeletons really, but I did um, do a reading with Charmed Intuition and the skeleton came out for me and so I felt kind of I thought that was it resonated and it connected and I thought that was cute so anyway so we do have three piles like I said so just choose by the imagery and take a deep breath now release your breath and close your eyes open your eyes and let them drift to the pile that's meant for you all right let's begin Okay, and here we have pile number one with this really beautiful image of an embrace, skeleton couple embracing. And we're going to get to the cards right now and see what we've got here. So first of all, I have the Halloween tarot to kind of see what's going on, what's hidden, what skeletons are in the closet. We have the King of Pumpkins. This is the King of Pentacles, and he is kind of, it could be a represent a male or a female, but I feel a, a masculine energy here, and this could be, um, I, I call this like the Midas man, the, the one, the rich guy, the guy that has wealth and, and things going for him, everything going for him right now financially. And we have death. So death is is about transformation. Something interesting is happening here. So this this is a very jolly card. Like we have a lot of <laughs> smiles. We have a smiling sunflower and smiling pumpkins. And there's some water going on here. And so I feel like there's some kind of transformation going on in your life or in the, per in the person that you're thinking of and so but it's a it's in a good way it's going to be a great turnout things are going to go good and then next we have a card from the enchanted oracle and we've got nemesis so nemesis is all about karma and the karmic wheel and what goes up must come down and past lives and connections and it could nemesis could indicate the karmic in a like a third party situation as well and so there could be something going on with a beloved and a third party or nemesis or karmic in this situation and that could be part of the hidden situation here and so next we have so I, I'm got a few cards from the Tarot de Nuit. And we have we have the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands def, definitely shows some kind of um, split up, some kind of break up. There's a, this is called the Bridge of Sorrow. There's some kind of conflict going on here, an attention, maybe a disagreement 
some kind of um, irreconcilable differences that are going on here. And that could be with a beloved and their karmic. And then here we have the two of wands. So we have like the flaming skeleton head here. And the two of wands is all about, it's called through my clairvoyance. So this is making plans. So I feel like maybe these are some secret plans somebody is making um, after or while they're breaking up with their karmic there's some secret plans going on here these this is something that you might not know what's happening right now and then they're going to let you know as soon as everything you know clears up and everything come you know kind of falls falls through it's like they can't it's like they can't really tell you now because they don't know yet the outcome but as soon as they, they know the outcome then they'll be able to share it with you and then we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about, is, it says, charge forth, brave knight. This is a person that's ambitious and powerful. It, you know, he is the, uh, the king of pumpkins. He is the king. And he is also a knight because the knight part of his personality is the movement so he's going to charge forth and he's going to be brave and he's going to be ambitious and he's going to go for what he wants and but he has a clear way clear thought and clear path to to his decisions and what he wants to do he is determined he has a quest he is fearless and he's a strong masculine power so this could be you or somebody else, but this is definitely the masculine power right here. And then I, I also have some Casanova cards to see, well, maybe something that's hidden has to do with, you know, desires and that sort of thing. So here we have, we have the judgment. So judgment is all about um, some kind of exam, some kind of um, consequence, some kind of um, being brave and a climax to a situation. And, and so after this breakup, there's going to be a conquest and a climax and a judgment. But the judgment itself is talking about a, a solution, you know, it's talking about um, what is meant to happen, you know, what, what is going, what you deserve, pretty much, what the, what the angels, what the guides, what the universe has in store for you, it's kind of another death card, it's kind of the final outcome card, it's like the absolution card, and then we also have the stars, so the stars is all about beauty and hope and th seeing things in the far future and um, being, you know, this is a lot of emotion here. There's grace and gentleness. And so there's this quest that this knight is on to, to finally come to meet you or finally be with you, but there's this big journey that he has to go through in order to finally fulfill his destiny. And then the final card here is from the Lennerman from Sierra Marchetti's Gilded Lennerman, and you have the writer. So the writer is some news. Some news is coming to you. This is also the writer that's on this merry-go-round that's breaking free. So this person was kind of in a loop, but they're not going to be in a loop anymore. They're finally breaking free from the carousel and riding off on their own and being free so they can head towards you. This could also indicate a visit or a visitor. All right, let's do your charms. All right, here we go. Charm. Let's see what you got. Well, you got a couple of buttons here. You got ACDC. So to me, that's like electricity. That's like um, taking charge. It's like charge, like a charge, right? It's coming forward. It's, it's taking charge. 
and you have C. So C is also for charge. <laughs> then you've got, I see the number 4 as the main number here. You've got Jupiter, which is lucky, the planet of luck and expansion. And then you have HK, which could symbolize anything for you guys, but it, in, I think it means Hong Kong. But if those letters mean something else to you, they could be the initials of somebody you're thinking about. Then we have the we have the dragonfly or butterfly. I think that one's the dragonfly. So that feels like uh, free spirit, just very much like like this um, the rider being free from from the the merry-go-round kind of situation. You have this tie that binds that. It's kind of like this invisible cord that connects you guys. You might be getting a kiss soon. And then you also have stars, like the starry night. So maybe um, besides hope and, and, uh, and happiness and, and looking forward to the future, it could also mean a starry night that you're going to have together. And then we have the dinosaur. So that to me means like a... Um, this is kind of like a long relationship. It, it could have been a past life situation, or there could be somebody that's significantly older than somebody else. But there's this sort of feeling like you've been together a long time, you know, through many lifetimes. And then we have the bird, which means communication. So I feel like you are going to get um, some communication, just like the writer said. And, and there's also... Um, other cards su suggesting that you're going to have some communication, but in, it could be like um, emails, Twitter, um, text messages, that kind of thing, that all could lead to a future kiss. Okay, so I hope you like that. I'm on to the next. All right, and now we have pile number two. Pile number two is the skeleton couple looking at each other in a loving way. This art is really beautiful by Chris Peters. And the first in the pile is our Halloween tarot. In the Halloween tarot we have the King of Ghosts, which is the King of Cups. So the King of Ghosts is sitting there full of love. He is the Grand Master of Emotions, and he is just... A man of love. And then we have the sun. And so the sun is about happiness and good times. It is um, success and pleasure and possible marriage. Also, the sun is showing, I don't know if you can see these guys, but they're these two kind of, um, what are they, trolls? Sleeping next to each other. So it seems like a happy sleeping content sleeping situation here <laughs> so what is hidden so i don't know what's hidden um maybe there's this desire to get married that's hidden in this situation so we're from the um enchanted oracle we have love springs eternal love springs eternal is all about um a, a, a union and in a happy partnership and a solid loving partnership this is talking about marriage and being together long term and not just a love affair a short love affair but a deep long lasting kind of situation and then we have um, so we have a few cards from the tarot de nuit and so we have here we have the King of Cups. So again, we have King of Cups twice. And the King of Cups is romantic and um, loving and compassionate. And he might be wanting to share a loving relationship with you. Somebody who, who has mastered their emotions and who wants to share their feelings with you. And then we have, we have the King of Swords. And so the King of Swords is about um, 
matters of the heart, but using the mind instead. It's power, being powerful and intellectual. So he is, at once he is full of love and also he is very thoughtful and logical. And so the, so this is somebody that could be cool on the exterior and that's why you don't know what's going on with him, but he's hiding a heart full of, of love for you, a, a desire to have something more, a desire to have, uh, looks like a relationship or marriage of some sort with you. So, so the king of swords could be, um, like a, an air sign with maybe, um, a moon in water or the other way around, or uh, maybe ascendant in air, which is hiding, um, uh, a sun in some kind of, in some kind of water sign. And then we have, we have the Ace of Cups. So, um, so I just want to let you know that, you know, all of these apply to both the male, men and women, whoever, whatever you resonate with, as far as if you're the masculine or if you're the feminine, if you appear like the male or you appear like the fe female either way it doesn't matter the energies are what's most important here and so in the ace of cups it could be a female but it's also the energy of the cups the ace of cups which is really beautiful energy this is saying listen to your heart this is saying um there's an inner feelings and emotional and sp spiritual fulfillment. This is love and creativity. So it's kind of like the song, listen to your heart, he's calling to you. Listen to your heart, there's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going and I don't know why. Listen to your heart. So yeah, he really wants more than what you realize because he might be hiding it, but but this is what he wants. And so it's saying, um, be aware that there's, be aware, <laughs> be aware that there's, there's more to his feelings. He wants to have, marry you. So let's see what the Casanova Tarot has to say. So you have the page of pentacles and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this beautiful, the Ten of Pentacles is all about courtship and proposals and engagements. This is the, called the formal declaration. And then this appears to me as the gift, the ring, or the, the, the present, the, the engagement ring. So maybe the secret here, what's hidden, is that he's looking for an engagement ring for you. He's about to buy you a ring and he's about to propose to you. So this is a secret that you don't want to know yet because it's a fun surprise that he's working on. All right. And so let's see what your Lenormand card has to say. Sierra Marchetti's Gilded Lenormand. And, um, yes. And let's see. Oh, see, there you go. You got the ring. <laughs> So you guys got the ring and that is that's probably the secret and the hidden thing in this situation so let's take a look at your charms all right here we go all right let's see what we've got we got the number seven and we've got ACDC again <laughs> So ACDC is kind of the, the electricity, the excitement between you. Something's about to happen. You've got the Jack Skellington. So he wants to be your Jack. He wants to be the Jack to your Sally kind of thing here. And it's very much like this. He wants to be the Jack to your Sally. And you got a kiss coming too. You've got the iron. So things are going to get ironed out. There could be some travel involved or some French connection. This is a sure thing. You also got the dragonfly, so some exciting free feeling. You got the stable, solid heart. Oh my gosh, you guys got two. Um, I feel like and sometimes when you have 
the um, Eiffel Tower, especially with twos, there's like two buildings, buildings that you're going to visit, or something having to do with buildings. So this could have to do with work or office or school or something like that. So the buildings, something about a building. Then you've got the um, the little fairy holding on tightly to her special belonging. So that's like you're special. And you also have the snowflake of golden snowflake means that you're special in one of, in a million. And the hanger's talking about getting some new clothes, new wardrobe. Yeah, you got the kiss. You got freedom. Just like the dragonfly, you're going to feel free. And maybe a starry night kind of situation. And you've got the bicycle. So some movement going on here. Let's see. And then we've got Virgo, which is practical. And you got the lucky frog. He's got a lot here. And you have the beautiful mermaid. Somebody's going to look very beautiful. Freedom and bicycles and starry nights and a little rocking horse. And then you have the spirit taking care of you here. And the monkey. So monkey is an intelligent sign. I, it's my um, Chinese zodiac sign, so it could be somebody's out there. Something might be happening maybe on November 17th. 17 might be an important number here. Or maybe somebody, something happened this month on the 17th, and you'll see more to come soon. Then we've got cherries. So it's cherry blessed. And you've got a little, um, you've got a little flower. You've got two flowers. So very nature, natural. This is like the natural progression of things in this situation. The natural progression is, is you know, him proposing to you. Because I feel like maybe you know you've been ex sort of expecting this. This is kind of like the lead up to it, or you know, you proposing to her, whoever's watching this. So I hope you like that, and I'm on to the next. And here we have pile number three, last but not least, this beautiful romantic skeleton drawing by Chris Peters. This seems very, like, loving and touching to me. <laughs> I don't know why I like them. I mean, they're skeletons, but it's very romantic. All right, so, well, let's put it right here. All right, so first of all, we have the Halloween tarot to start off with. And so what is hidden here? What do we, what's the skeleton in the closet? What is it that you don't know that they want to, that they're keeping from you? Or it doesn't have to be a they, it could be just what's hidden to you. But here we have the devil. And so I feel like there's some kind of, um, hidden lustful situation here somebody has desire for you that's on the shelf you know they've, they've shelved their desire they haven't told you how they felt but they really really have sexual feelings for you and then we have the hermit so i feel like the hermit is about um him to like this he or she is looking at you from a distance kind of thing, maybe making potions or affirmations or spells, love spells to win you over. But they're kind of like in their laboratory thinking of ways they can win you or to woo you or to to come towards you or make you like them back, you know, make them make you want them as well. And maybe you do want them and that's your secret to them. But I feel like they might not know because that they think they have to do these special tricks in order to get your attention. So let's see what your enchanted oracle card. Now you have Sir Nunos. So this kind of really tells me what their secret desire is. So Sir Nunos is this, he's this um, masculine spirit like Pan of the forest. And he has in his mind, um, sexual ideas, pleasurable. It's all about nature, it's pleasures. And he kind of desires you to come into his forest where he can show you his sexual desires, his pleasures. Or the other way around, you know, 
and here we have the the devil is the female so maybe you're both thinking and feeling the same thing and um and it's and neither of you really know it yet <laughs> All right, so next we have, um, we have some cards from the Terra de Nui, and here we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is all about, it's kind of, you know, um, pondering things, wondering. This is kind of a, a bit of solitude and rest and rejuvenation and um, feeling like, uh, maybe nobody's interested in you, but yet, yes, they are interested totally. And then here we have, um, we have death. And so death is all about transformation and, you know, this, there's, there's a beauty in death. There's a depth in it. There's this amazing, um, renewal and coming to life almost, a rebirth when it comes to death. There, there's also cycles, the old cycles ending and new ones, new ones beginning. And, and this could also mean Scorpio, you know, the death card could symbolize Scorpio and Scorpio is, is the sign of sexuality. So this could have to do with, um, a sexual, a lot of sexuality, but a relationship with a Scorpio. And then here the devil has, it could be a Capricorn maybe in this situation. And then we have, from the Terra de Nui, we have the Emperor. So the Emperor, in general, could be is Aries, but doesn't have to be. Emperor is all about being commanding, being the dominant one in the situation. Um, he, he says, I command and they obey. And this is about authority and laws and rules and security and wisdom discipline and the principle strictly followed self also self-control and so so this guy's working really hard on looking like he is cool and not interested or it could be a girl that's doing that too but when actual actually they have a lot of burning desire for you so let's see what is this desire see if it comes out in the Casanova cards. So yes, we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is a sincere and tender affection. This is for somebody who, who's not, you know, been feeling well or maybe feeling neglected. And, um, and it's like you make them feel sexually aroused and excited because that's, they're not getting it from where they want to get it, you know. And then here we have the three of wands. So this is a lot of passion and and excitement. It's the completion of a seduction. It's giving pleasure. It's it's a decision to to that comes to fruition. A desire to to be with you to to culminate this these feelings that have gone unrequited maybe, or they've gone unexpressed because they've been hidden. That's the hidden thing, the skeleton in the closet. So let's check to see what your Lennerman has to say. And then you have the lily. So the lilies definitely is about um, sex and wisdom and age. It could be about an older person or somebody significantly older than another in this situation. Or it could just be finally, you know, wanting to have this, a sexual union with you, a desire to be with you. So that is their hidden feeling here, their hidden desire, their, the thing hidden in the closet. So let's check out what your charms have to say. Okay, let's see what we've got. All right, so we have the number eight that stands out to me. That's the number of infinity. We have the duck that rhymes with, you know what, and that <laughs> makes it seem like, yes, this is a sexual desire here. 
we have D, which is duck, and he, he wants the D, or you want the D. I mean, he wants the D. You want the D, and maybe that's your secret um, hidden skeleton desire as well. So there's this tie that binds you. There's this force. There's this invisible line that links you guys together. There is the... Um, Eight also can, looks like a yin, uh, an infinity symbol. I just, did I say that? And the the cord here is like the red thread that connects you guys. Then you have ACDC again. All three piles have ACDC. It's like there's a lot of elect electricity here, excitement, energy between couples and people. And and it was I wasn't intending it to be a romantic reading either. Like it could have been anything hidden, but it looks turns out that are, that are feelings actually are being hidden here. So you got ever and USA and world and good and star. And so, yeah, so as far as the duck and the D, you, you know, that's kind of shows up a lot here with the lily and with these, with the desire here. And the emperor is the main man, you know, D for death too. And Sir Nunos, you know, wants to go into the garden with you. And then you have um, dragonfly. So we got a lot of dragonflies too. So there's a sense of freedom happening in all three piles. And all three piles is having this electricity. So it's definitely going into Scorpio season. There's this desire, a lot of desire. There's kissing going on here. There's grace. Uh-oh. Okay, these, well, there could be some cord cutting, but these scissors are closed. So maybe not any cord cutting, but or maybe just cutting what doesn't serve you. Like, as in the death card, because the death card is also about eliminating, shedding what doesn't serve. So you can have um, the things that do serve you. <laughs> yes, the things that do serve. So you also have the um, hanger here, which is... Um, about maybe a wardrobe, some clothes. You have the cross. to talk about spirit guiding you and protecting you. You have the, the laurel wreath, which is, to me, it's about, well, this is just a wreath, but it makes me think of the laurel wreath. It, it could also represent holidays, you know, and decorating your home, but I feel the wreath has to do with the champion, that the way you make that person feel. You make them feel, you know, loved and desired and that's what they want you know and then you also have look you have the yin yang symbol so you definitely are having a um a, a balancing feeling here like a a, a masculine feminine uh a, an attraction in this way where you feel complete with each other in that sort of way so just have faith there's Time to, time to be creative about the situation, you know, and uh, try new things. You have, do you have two mermaids here? But you have this mermaid, and and then sometimes you'll find symbols out in nature, like the like a feather dropping, things like that. That could be signs that um, to pay attention for, because something is near. And you guys, I so apologize for the noise outside because it's. Um, my pipe burst, hence the whole skeleton theme outside, because things are being dug, and now things are being cut, and so the pipe is getting fixed, yay, and, the, and so that's a good thing, and um, so yeah, things are getting fixed for everybody all the way around, love life and career and home and everything else, but I really see strong love life in all three piles, so I hope you guys like that, you know, you guys... Um, are, are going to see a lot of fun changes this month as far as your relationship. Things are going to be um, leveling up for sure and, you know, secrets that might have been kept hidden are going to be revealed now, I feel, because, well, because this theme just popped in my head and, the, and Spirit wanted me to share it with you. That's why I think that's going to happen now. So I hope you guys like that. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And um, please feel free to comment below anything you wish to comment. And uh, yeah, so thank you all my subscribers. I appreciate it. I've been, my energy this week has been so up and down. 
especially with this situation going outside with the pipe kind of thing because it means I don't have get to use water and water is my way of cleansing my energy and my spirit and so I've been feeling kind of heavy from not being able to cleanse that way but I took a little spa treatment this weekend and so I should be back to doing lives next weekend but I apologize for not being there for you guys on for the lives but I'm gonna get back to that and then um yeah and so I'll I I'm caught up on my um private reading so I should get out some more public ones too so let me know what y'all are interested in I'll do I'll do a pick a card for you and any subject that you're interested in. But right now I'm kind of enjoying Halloween theme. Anything else you can think of along these lines, just let me know and I'll be happy to share. So faith, trust, and pixie dust.